Today we are going to be talking about Lee Smeitner, who was an experimental physicist who partook in the discovery of nuclear fission. It all started in Berlin, where she suggested to Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann to bombard uranium atoms with neutrons in an attempt to learn more about uranium decay. They predicted two results, the neutron joint into the atom resulting in a production of a different heavier element or that it will unbalance the atom. Unfortunately, around 1938, she fled from Berlin to Sweden due to the Nazis, leaving Hahn and Stressman to experiment. However, their results were hard to explain. Therefore, Meitner partnered up with an experimental chemist, Otto Fritsch, in Sweden. They conducted the experiment and instead found two already well-known elements, krypton and barium. Together, they weighed just under half of uranium, meaning some of uranium's mass has been lost. From this set of data, Meitner hypothesised that the nucleus was a liquid, not a solid. Through this, she discovered that the neutron would hit the nucleus, elongate it and split it in two. As for the lost mass, by using E equals mc squared, it is clear that mass could be converted to energy. This process, which they named fission, produced a lot of atomic energy, which now has essential uses across multiple sectors also leading to the development of bombs. Despite that, the Nobel Prize was awarded to Otto Hahn in 1945 for his discovery surrounding the heavy atomic nuclei. Lee Meitner was nominated 48 times for Nobel Prizes in physics and in chemistry, but was unsuccessful and didn't receive recognition for her work until 1966, two years before her death in 1968. The End